Hi guys, welcome to 3ML. Here you will learn to work with multidimensional arrays. Arrays are classified into one dimensional and multidimensional arrays. You can create an array of arrays. These are known as multidimensional arrays. For example, 2D arrays and 3D arrays and so on. Now, the 2D array syntax be like data type, space, array name, rows, columns. For example, for integer array, int a of 3, 2. For float, float marks of 4, 5. Consider a 2D array int a of 3, 2. It contains total 6 elements. That is, product of rows and columns 3 into 2. The array elements be like 3 rows and 2 columns represent a of 0, 0, 2, a of rows minus 1 of column minus 1. That is, a of 2, 1. Now, int a of 3, 2 indicates array length of 6 uh, with a 2D array elements. Now, row index be like 0, 1, 2 and column index be like 0, 1. The sample values 7, 8, 6, 5, 3, 2 are given here. Now the array values be like A00 is equal to 7, A01 is equal to 8, A10 is equal to 6, A11 is equal to 5, A20 is equal to 3, A21 is equal to 2. Next, array initialization can be done as for two dimensional arrays int A of 3, 2. You can give all the values like 7, 8, 6, 5, 3 and 2. And on the other hand, you can also write int a of 3, 2 in braces. Rows can be mentioned individually like 7, 8, 6, 5 and 3, 2. And similarly, the 3D array installation will be done in the same way. Now, consider an, an integer array of 3, 2. To input third element, we write scanf of ampersand a10. To print third element, we write printf of a of 10. Next, 2D array example to print 6 elements, right? Let's declare 2 dimensional integer array A of 3, 2. Print of prompts us to enter 6 integers. The outer for loop acts as row, i is equal to 0 indicates first row. And inner loop, for loop, I mean inner for loop indicates column, j is equal to 0 indicates first column. And the scanf of A of ij accepts A00 value as 7. The inner loop to change the column value to 1. And scanf accepts a01 now value as 8. Then next row 1 with column from 0 again. Scanf accepts a10 with 3. And again scanf accepts a11 with 5. And again row 2 the column gets updated. Now the scanf accepts a of 20 as 2. And the last column the scanf accepts a21 as 4. Now to display 2D array elements, again outer loop acts as row and inner loop acts as column. A00 prints 7 and then A01 prints 8. First row, A10 prints 3 and A11 prints 5. Then the last row, A20 prints 2 and A21 prints the last number 4. Control comes to an end. In output, you can observe all the elements in an array printed. Thanks for watching our video. For more videos, do subscribe to our channel 3MM 3 Minutes Master. If you like, hit the like button and bell icon there and do share with your friends. Don't forget to drop a comment.